Ha. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice, my own pupil in the trade of miracles. Then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I'm the lucky one. What's your name, young man? Mm. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. First... I need a tooth of St. Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery. And it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I've found out he has a sick tooth. How did he find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. Very well. I'll get it. This player's talisman, where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. <sighs> we'll see. Very well. I'll get you the paw. I'll get looking for those things, then. Excellent! You do that, my journeyman. Good luck.
this series? What do you think you're doing? I have a mind to call the guards.
have no patience for beggars. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you've got, lad. The tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Perhaps. But I heard he was the one who suffered like a martyr. One cat paw for luck? Marvelous! Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent! And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next man. So, about my reward. Not so fast, young man. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I have the... Lord Almighty, be quiet! Not here! You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place.
You're off now. You don't belong here. I have the shroud for you. Have you now? Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why... That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. He did oh, die. Fuck. I saw him go Fuck. In. Henry, delay them. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. What are you doing here? He swindled me too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard. Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go. 